Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to conveniently configure the Whitefly application server using the command line interface. So first, what happened here, I just opened this standalone full, which comprises all the configuration from Whitefly, so you can absolutely add just the XML file to, uh, to change the configuration. What I also opened is the jconsole, which is a um, JMX editor coming with uh, JDK, and uh, I just would like to connect with the JBoss modules, so, um, which is actually the Whitefly application server. Switch to Ambient's browser and go to the JBoss AS folder, and you should see all the familiar subsystems. So I can actually do the same from the command line interface. So um, I'm in the bin folder from Whitefly and there is a JBoss CLI. So I will just like to start this up and it immediately suggests that I should connect. So let's try to connect with the Whitefly. So I'm connected right now and by LS I'm listing everything. This is like a file system where I can browse in the in the folders here or in the subsystems here. So the, interestingly, what I can do, I can switch to something and there is a tab completion. So I would like to come to a CD. Um, EJB for a CD subsystem and then it chooses which subsystem to choose. So what I did is I just said CD, CD subsystem and then tap and it suggests again which subsystem to choose. And we see here batch, J Barrett, bin validation, data sources, deployment scanner, EE, EJB3. And this is actually, it matches with that. So we have a batch, uh, batch J Barrett, bin validation, data sources, EJB. So I try to switch to EJB. So now we are in the subsystem EJB, so we are inside this. So I can list that and we see all the attributes, which actually is the same as this. So there is some match log system exceptions. So, and what I can do, I can perform some actions. So what I could do, I could, could say now, um, write attribute and then a choose an attribute and tap, it suggests the name. So I put name and the name is log system exceptions and the value suggests false or true. So let's change to, uh, this is in Jamix, we have true to change to false and see what happens. So changed, so what happened here, it immediately changed the state in the configuration and if I refresh in Jamix, it also changed the state. And um, what's also interesting, just come back here, so ls, we have this in VM remote interface invocation pass by value, which is true, but does not appear in the configuration. So what I can do, I can say, okay, nice. Then I can write an attribute and the name of the attribute is in VM uh, invocation pass by value. And the value is going to be false. So if I change this, it wrote the the actually the the, uh, the the element appeared in the configuration here and it should change the state here in the JMX. So it changed to false. So um, it is a the JBoss command line interface. It is a really nice and, and, and usable tool how you can um, interactively configure the Whitefly application server or the JBoss application server. And you can actually do the same with a JMX browser, uh, use the, uh, the command line interface or edit the XML files directly. Um, the problem is, of course, if uh, if you have if you do some typos, the uh, the configuration is going to be ignored. Thank you for watching, and see you in upcoming AirHacks, um, Com, and IO conferences and even projects. So thank you.